It's fast, it's furious, and every so often, it's brutal. Ice hockey is huge in Canada and parts of the U.S. In arenas and on television, millions watch a sport some call war on ice. But these days, the thrills and spills come at a cost. Head injuries are becoming common, shortening playing careers. From the youngest preteen hopefuls to the big leagues, many are asking if it's not time to stop the fighting and hard hits. One simple question, do you want to be rich, famous, demented and dead at 40? And that's what you're looking at. Doesn't mean it happens to everybody, but there's a good chance that it'll happen to a number of them. Danny Crossman is an ex-British Army bomb disposal expert who's designed a way to measure impacts to the head and transmit that information to parents, coaches and doctors. Helmet takes a hit maybe from the side or the rear, transmits a signal via long-range Bluetooth, 100 meters, back to a smartphone and displays an alert. Knowing when someone's been hit too hard is difficult. If you have a pair of electronic eyes looking out for concussive hits, or at-risk hits as we call them, then more than often you're likely to see them. And if you see them, you can check them out and you prevent the kid going back out on the ice and getting hit again. And that's where it becomes very dangerous. Here at the junior level, with players in their teens and early 20s, this is where stopping concussions matters most. Some of these young men are helping test the shock box. They dream of hockey glory, but they're also aware of the threats of injury. Hockey isn't everything in life, and I think uh, after life, uh, you got to think about your health and your own brain and how you can take care of yourself, right? And uh, I think with this new thing with t uh, concussions and everything, is great. Changing hockey, making it less violent, is controversial. Many feel fights and heavy hits are a big part of the game. But the growing toll on players' health and careers is biting deep. Whether it's changing the rules or high technology, the goal is hockey without head injuries. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Peterborough.